Turn our attention to the weather now and it seems like it's been cool for the last week. It certainly has, but not bad outside right now. John Fredericks tells us what's in store for us later. Well, it looks like uh, we might need to break out the umbrella one more time, Sue and Dana. We've got uh, the possibility of some shower activity mainly this evening through early tomorrow morning. And we can't discount the uh, slight possibility of maybe a stray thunderstorm late tonight as well. Outside right now, it's very, it's absolutely gorgeous. Our air quality and the pollen counts, air quality is good. The pollen counts are way down just from the rain and the breezes over the weekend, mainly the rain knocking down the pollens, but the winds are kicking back up. South sustained today, gusting to 22. Our current temperature reading is 56 degrees. That is almost 20 degrees below our normal high. A week ago yesterday, we are at 84. Yesterday's high, 61 degrees. Will it warm up? Y yeah, it's the desert. Sure it will. Uh, how soon? I'll let you know all coming up. Of course, we'll have another uh, edition of the Fredericks Fact as well. Sue, Dana? We shall see you then, John. What do you think, John? Your place isn't like that. No, not at all. But okay. then again, that's why he's getting all the chicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, we got some beautiful, uh, looking like now, fair weather cumulus clouds. But this is uh, merely just the foreshadowing. We got a storm system coming, and the cloud cover is going to be on the increase. Right now with a couple of clouds hanging around, 56 degrees. We had a sustained south wind at McCarran at the top of the hour of eight, gusts though to 22, barometer low falling 2984 inches of mercury. Other numbers, and we'll get you all the way through the uh, Frederick's Fact this hour. We'll get your uh, extended forecast next half hour. And uh, one more click and let's see a fly event. Franny says the winds are blowing pretty hard over the hump and perump. What happened to my, hmm, this is odd. This is from this morning. This is, uh, this is wrong. So we'll just march on, little soldier. Thank you. We'll fix that. All right, we'll dig deeper, find out what happened. We actually had some new software installed in our weather uh, computer system, and so uh, more than likely it's my fault. Chances of a uh, late afternoon, mainly evening shower, or maybe an isolated thunderstorm, that's really about it. We'll top out somewhere around 61 degrees. That is almost 15 degrees below normal. Winds are definitely going to be on the increase. So we're going to have some gusts maybe uh, 30 to 35 miles per hour as the storm system approaches. Yesterday, 61. The normal was 75. We're not going to get there in the extended forecast, but we'll get close and just in time for the weekend. Air quality back to all good. The mulberry tree pollen counts have come down significantly, and it was all due to just four hundredths of an inch of rain on Saturday. Sun sets this evening at 7.09. If you'd like to get your uh, daily uh, pollen count and your air quality uh, information, just uh, log on to cchd.org, not .com, .org. It's the clock, uh, car <laughs> I get it. Thank you. It's the Clark County Health District. They're in your neighborhood. And it's a good thing because they'll give you all the information on air quality and the pollen counts. We continue to see these storms just kind of ride right on through. And uh, we've got this big giant area of low pressure out west, big trough, or trough of low pressure, ridge of high pressure back east. Wait till you see the right now temperatures on the eastern two-thirds of the, actually the eastern third of the country. Computer says we could have some rain moving in and also some winds. Those are the uh, tightly packed lines of equal pressure, the isobars. Look at this. Right now in Indianapolis, 82. Dana, where are you from? Uh, Seattle. <laughs> okay, right now in Seattle, 49. Not a good uh, indication there, but that's because we got the big area of low pressure out west. Out 80 right trying. now in Oklahoma City, 81 in Texas, but that's not that weird. 87. This is the current temperatures, kids. 87 in the nation's capital, 88 in Raleigh. Right now in Little Rock, 86, and we got a couple of 80, uh, we got an 81, 82, and 83 for Dallas, Houston, and New Orleans amazing as opposed to our 56. So this huge trough of low pressure, ridge of high pressure, and the boundary line, the demarcation line of the air masses is where all the severe weather is. Severe thunderstorm uh, watches in effect now for a good chunk of the Ohio Valley and wind advisories out across uh, Arizona and New Mexico. It's time to make you a winner. As we look out to McCarran International Airport, uh, fifth or sixth or seventh largest right behind uh, the Baker International Airport. And uh, this hour's edition of the Fredericks Fact brought to you by, oh, a couple of wonderful sponsors. They were originally called the Primettes. This was a uh, singing group. They were originally called the Primettes. The name you and I know them as much different. Call us 657-3425 if you have the correct answer. You and a guest are gonna go see Fame at the Aladdin. 
at the Aladdin on Wednesday, April 18th. And uh, we'll also toss in dinner for two at the fabulous new Firelight Buffet over at Sam's Town. Man, I'll tell you, that buffet is wonderful. So buffet passes from Sam's Town. Two tickets to go see uh, Fame over at the Aladdin can be yours with the first correct answer. We'll have that and your extended forecast in the next half hour. Sue, Dana? Okay, John. Richard Steinberg over there having him sign all his books that he brought us and I know John Fredericks is, is getting ready to read those because John you love thrillers don't you in general too it, it, fiction I just love yeah. it anything um, because like he said you know you, I mean to be able to make this stuff up it had to happen at some point or will you would think um, all right another wonderful shot from our Rio cam and right now conditions 56 degrees 28 percent humidity wind south at 8 gusting 22 though barometer falling 2984 so the breezes are picking up on the leading edge of the next storm system we have to deal with. And then that's pretty much going to be about it. Now, there is going to be one more locally breezy to windy day. That's going to be Wednesday. I'll talk more about that when we get to the extended forecast. Up on the mountain, 33 degrees. We are looking at afternoon and evening snow up at the Mount Charleston Recreational Area. And we could, over the next 24 hours, have some snow levels drop down again to about 4,000 feet. So close to the foothills on the western side of the valley. This storm system coming in is pretty cold in nature. 57 degrees over the hump and perump at Franny's, 57 North Las Vegas. Temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 50s, like 15 degrees below the normal temperature for uh, this time of year. Our normal high is 75. We're not going to get there this week, but we're going to get close just in time for the weekend. So we top out today somewhere around 61 degrees with increasing clouds and a chance of showers, mainly this evening through early tomorrow morning and there is a possibility you could hear some stray uh, thunder boomers as well. Those winds are going to be on the increase as well as the storm system approaches. We have high counts. Now last week we had very high counts of mulberry tree pollen. That's been knocked down uh, significantly. Our air quality back to good. Once again yesterday 61. This morning's low 45. Both well below the normals of 75 and 49. I think by the weekend, by Saturday, we're probably going to be back to normal. Sun sets this evening at 7.09. It gets up tomorrow morning at 6.15. If you're just now joining us, do want to remind you, if you need your daily pollen count or you want to find out about the air quality, whether it's carbon monoxide, ozone, or just the particulate matter, the dust, log on to CCHD, that's the Clark County Health District dot org, and you can get the same information that uh, we get right here in the Weather Center. This big, giant area of low pressure is actually finally going to get replaced by a nice little ridge of high pressure through the middle and the latter part of the week. So that means a warm up and less cloud cover. This storm, so this upper level disturbance that's embedded within this big giant trough is the thing that's bringing us the wind, the clouds, and by later on this afternoon and this evening, a chance of showers, mainly late tonight through tomorrow. As you can see, there's not a big weather maker in terms of moisture, but it is cold in nature. And the cold air aloft is unstable air, so once again, the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm exists as well, mainly tonight through tomorrow morning. 56 here, 56 Los Angeles, 57 in San Diego. Currently in Phoenix, it is 68 degrees, 44 right now in, uh, where was that, Albuquerque? Yes, I believe. No. Or, uh, I'll have to double check. Sorry. Uh, anyway, 74 in Phoenix. And once again, I, I'm just blown away by these numbers. Look at this. 90 degrees right now, uh, St. Louis. That's, well, that's the expected afternoon high in St. Louis. 90 in Raleigh, 79 in the nation's capital. Unbelievably cool. And you can actually, once again, see this big area of low pressure out west, big ridge of high pressure back east. Thunderstorms across the Ohio Valley moving into New York later. Beautiful across the southeast. Windy across the southwest and just unsettled. We just have one more storm system to get rid of, and that's uh, about it. And then uh, warmer temperatures by the end of the week. Up on the mountain, maybe three to five inches of snow. Snow level is going to drop to about 4,000 feet by tonight through early tomorrow morning. It's going to get very bumpy out on the water and down on the lake uh, throughout the afternoon and the evening with the chance of showers late, 64 to 69. And it will warm up. It's just going to take a while, folks. A uh, late uh, day or evening shower, windy, 61, 60, morning shower tomorrow. Then we begin to clear the skies out and temperatures will finally warm up by Friday. Finally, the answer, the, uh, they were originally called the Primettes. The Supremos. The Supremes. Stop in the name of the fact.
And uh, you know, interestingly enough, where's the second? There we go, the Supremes. Tommy Himmler was the winner, but his son, 12 year old son Andrew, was the one that actually came up with the correct answer. So, in addition to the tickets to see Fame in a di oh, with the Aladdin, in addition to dinner for two at the Firelight Buffet at Sam's Town, just for Andrew, I'm going to throw in a oh, free good. family four pack for the Adventure Dome theme park at Circus Circus. Cool. Yes. A lot All of right. fun, too. Congratulations. Well. Where's he coming up with that information? That. The internet, probably. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we do live in a different age.